Excuse me, the dog. Oh. Hi, guys. It is a lovely summer evening. Heading into the 50s tonight. I am thrilled going out there. And bugs in a jar and the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is a Monday night. July 10th, 2023. So, guys, I am actually going to be heading, I think, somewhere where it's about four feet underwater in eastern New York. I'm heading off to the Gray Fox Bluegrass Festival tomorrow, and I will be gone for almost a week. So, uh, it has been a crazy week here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. So, uh, just want to leave you just with a straight ahead mainstream media LA Times chronicle of the collapse just a no shit Sherlock story right here from the mainstream media uh, which sums up the situation as well as any story that I've read uh, which I don't think they mention about how many days in the past week have been the hottest days in the history of the planet uh, while everyone is talking about that one story in the Doomosphere, <clears throat> we're going to basically uh, sum it all up. Take it away, Los Angeles Times. Trying to get any more mainstream media than that. Excuse me, little dog. You need to go over there. <clears throat> Future demand, I don't know what's wrong with the present demand, future demand for wood will undermine efforts to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. Wow, do you think so? This is a, uh, so this is a picture of the redwood forest in Northern California. Uh, there is still, I think, there's some people suffering a delusion that uh, there is no more redwood logging going on on this planet. Redwood logging is alive and well. That is one pile of redwood logs. All right. <clears throat> With the harvesting of wood... Can you say chop with the chopping down of trees expected to increase dramatically in coming decades? Researchers are warning that policy officials have woefully underestimated logging's carbon footprint and that the widespread felling of trees will undermine efforts to reduce planet warming emissions. Who would have thunk it? Between 2010 and 2050, so what are we getting about almost halfway there, global demand for wood, meaning trees, meaning like all of these hemlock trees I have killed to build my tiny houses, global demand for wood is expected to surge 54% as more trees are used for fuel and the manufacturing of tiny houses, other buildings, furniture, and paper products, according to a study published this week in the journal Nature. During that time, greenhouse gas emissions from wood harvest will likely significantly increase, likely releasing three and a half billion to 4.2 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide every year, three times more than what's emitted annually by the global aviation industry, say researchers at the World Resources Institute. So I am certainly doing my part to uh, for the collapse of a planet by building these tiny houses. The study's authors say their analysis has revealed a massive accounting gap in global greenhouse gas production because carbon emissions from logging 
are rarely counted by policy makers. The increase, which is not being counted, will upend efforts to reduce the industry's carbon footprint. Uh, this is Tim Searchinger, one of the study authors and the technical director for agriculture, forestry, and ecosystems at the World Resource Institute. Quote, vast emissions from harvesting wood have mostly been ignored because of faulty carbon accounting. In these areas, most papers have treated the additional harvest of wood as having no climate effect. Close quote. Globally, trees store a tremendous amount of carbon in their trunks, branches, and roots. When they are cut down, the stored carbon can be released over time or rapidly if the wood is burned. By mid-century, humans are expected to, you know, pretty much obliterate, uh, to bulldoze about three million square miles of forest land, an area roughly equivalent to the size of the continental United States over the next uh, 27 years, an area, you know, from Seattle to Miami, from Boston to San Diego, will be obliterated off the face of this planet as the harvesting of wood increases by 54%. And uh, nobody talking about the carbon emissions, not to mention just the habitat loss. I think uh, the big story here is not the carbon emissions. They're talking about obliterating a size of wildlife habitat off of this planet, the size of the continental United States in the next 27 years, so clueless morons can go out there and build their tiny houses. The study authors say the forest cutting, the forest cutting will be driven by an almost 100 30% increase in demand for paper products and nearly 70% increase in demand for furniture, flooring, and other timber products such as siding and decking and paneling on tiny houses. Uh, demand for wood that can be burned for fuel, you know, these, these bullshit biofuels, by far the most popular use is poised to increase by 22%, which I think is extremely conservative. Uh, so in 2050, we are going to be burning for fuels. Uh, we are going to be burning 22% more of this planet's forest than we're burning today. Uh, researchers argue these emissions could be significantly reduced if people just use less wood for heat and cooking. Quote, if new wood harvest could be reduced, forests would grow even more overall. Huh. Imagine that. Absorb even more carbon and reduce global warming more, Searchinger said. And so this is the LA Times. So now what is the situation in the great state of California? What is the forecast for California's forest? In California, where 27% of the state's land mass is still forested, the research highlights the importance of protecting state forests from human activity, particularly at a time when state forestry managers are scrambling to save trees from intensifying wildfire, prolonged droughts, and damaging pests. 
Although the tracking of emissions from wood harvest remains rare, the California Air Resources Board is one of the few government agencies that has conducted an analysis to model how logging, tree mortality, and new development might contribute to global warming. Its analysis found that, uh, that in California, according to this analysis, found the amount of carbon stored in California forests is projected to decline over 8% by 2045, mostly as more trees die from drought, excessive heat, and of course, wildfire. Uh, anyway, they, uh, Talk more about California. Okay. A significant amount of wood is also burned and essentially wasted in manufacturing processes such as making paper. There you go. Uh, Sturchinger said, uh, quote, there are lots of things that we know are not the best for the environment, but we need to live. This study doesn't say that the wood products industry is evil. It just says they are like any other industry. They have serious emissions and we need to try to reduce them. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, and then, of course, the deniers of, you know, uh, the loggers, obviously, from Northern California are all over, uh, all over this story, as you can imagine, the logging and deniers talking about how redwood logging and all the rest of it is sustainable. This is sustainable sustainable redwood logging but anyway guys with that short and sweet uh, chronicle of the collapse I have uh, I have got to wrap it up it has been a wild week here at the vacation rental business I still have people coming in uh, but I am out of here I am going to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. I'm going to make some new friends and play acoustic music, hopefully around a campfire if there's any dry firewood left in the state of New York. And Lord, I guess my sister is being absolutely hammered right now in Vermont. You know, my brother was in the middle of Hurricane Ian, and now my sister is, I don't know what that poor woman is dealing with right now at her place in Vermont as I speak. But it sounds like I missed the big wash in eastern New York where I'm heading by two days, so uh, I will get to see some of that carnage Tomorrow, as my disaster tourism continues, get out there and enjoy your disaster tourism while you still can. Bye, guys.